Hello, I'm Dr. Geraint Priest. I'm primary care editor at BMJ on examination. I've taken a break from surgery this morning to tell you about some videos that you'll be seeing over the next couple of weeks and months. We've put together some videos that we hope will help you in your AKT revision. These videos are based on examination feedback from the AKT examination and we're looking in particular to address areas of weakness and areas that are commonly tested in the exam. So we've put together some videos on a variety of different topics. We've got a video on emergencies in general practice. These are all based on information in the BNF. The BNF is listed as one of the reference sources for the AKT examination. So we've taken some of that information and we'll be presenting to you um, treatment of emergencies such as anaphylaxis, um, acute asthma, acute coronary syndrome, treatment of croup, meningococcal meningitis. The meningococcal meningitis video is an interesting one because there seem to be conflicting views with the advice um, when you look around. Um, if you look at treatment uh, as advised by the BNF, they mention treatment as long as it doesn't delay transfer to hospital. If you look at the latest treatment on sepsis, they advise treatment um, only if you anticipate the patient will be more than an hour getting into hospital. Uh, we think it's unlikely that you'll be tested on those slight differences, but we've put some information in there as outlined in the BNF. We've also got a video on well scoring system. Scoring systems are quite popular for examination questions. They're quite neat uh, topics and quite easy to test. So we thought that some of you may not be familiar with the well score and may find that useful. We've also got a video on contraception after childbirth. Contraception is a very, very popular examination topic. It's tested time and time again. It's very likely that you get contraception questions in your exam. And we chose a few topics that were perhaps slightly unusual. So we looked at contraception after childbirth. We're looking at indications for certain types of contraception when they required contraception with breastfeeding. And we go into that in quite a bit of detail. So keep an eye open for that. Um, we've also got a video coming up on um, serious diagnoses um, in children, um, diagnoses of malignancy in children. Um, when you look at uh, what the Royal College have got to say about examination questions, they say that um, sometimes questions are answered poorly in relation to uh, paediatrics, child health, um, and they will want to test you on conditions where perhaps if the consequences of missing a diagnosis are fairly serious and I guess they're none more serious than malignancy. So we've got a video outlining um, making a diagnosis in cases of sarcoma, uh, Wilms disease, uh, Wilms tumour sorry. Um, these are not common diagnoses but they're things that you may miss because they're not common and we've got some information on that. Um, testing of uh, menopause, diagnosis of menopause, that's also a popular topic and we thought we'd give you a video on that, um, when to test, what you have to do and the relevance of the results. So keep an eye open for those. Um, I'm very keen for any feedback. If you want to feedback to us via our Facebook page, that's great. I'll look at all the feedback and we'll take that into note. And also, if you've got any suggestions of any topics that you're having difficulty with, that you may think, well, I, you know, I'd like to get some more, a little bit of help with this, let us know. and um, Maybe we'll get some videos in the future along those lines.